Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is a quick review of the Symbiote Spider number one, Spider-Man number one. Like, I, I've been super excited about this book um, just because I love the black suit Spider-Man. I know a lot about it and I know a lot of inside info from the creators and stuff like that. Let me say before we get into this review really quick, in a couple hours at 7 p.m. Pacific time, I'm doing my new comic book day video early on purpose. I have exclusive access to pictures of comics that are extremely limited from a special company. They're very low print. There's only 100, 50, or 25. I mean, that's, I don't know how much lower print you can get than that except one. But, well, I guess anything from 25 down to one. But there's going to be a coupon code. It's a world premiere for you guys. Please check it out for all you guys that love low print and ask me to show every publisher and everything like that because you want those exclusives. They reached out to me, especially for you guys, and to help them out. And I'm really excited about it. So don't miss it because if you do, they're all going to sell out. And then people get mad and people get upset. So anyway, please tune in tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific. There's going to be some new books first, and then about in the middle of the video, it's a 30-minute video. Middle of the video, I'm going to show you all the covers that no one's ever seen, tell you exactly what to do. Now, in regard to the Symbiote Spider number one, I have a couple different covers. I like the Art Germ cover. I couldn't really find the real expensive covers. Um, no one had them, and, and I just don't have a lot of money lately. So, But I was able to get an Art Germ and a Ron Lim. Um but what's great is it, it it starts off like right after the Secret Wars, right when he gets his thing. What is so awesome about this book, okay? Let me do a sniff test real fast because I haven't done a comic book review in a while. It's, it's, a, it's a one out of five sniff. You guys think I'm crazy, but what's so awesome about this book is, besides the idea, is it's written by Peter David. I don't know if it's all of them or just this one. And the pencils are by Greg Land. <coughs> Which means it's going to be a good story. And the art is going to be incredible. When I was reading through it, I was just looking at the cover art alone. And dude, it's shiny and clean and glossy. The art inside, gorgeous. You know, a lot of comic books lack that. And having Greg Land in there is it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I love it. Look, it even has the old Twin Towers. But look at that. That's gorgeous, guys. You know, actually, when I was a kid, not, you know, a little going off topic here, but I ate in the very top floor of that. I think it was called Windows of the World. Um, of course, this is before they, they got taken down and all that, but... You know, and I know I don't live in New York, and I know a lot of people do, and you have a very strong attachment to everything that happened during the 9-11, and I don't really want to go there, but it's been so long. But, you know, being able to go there and go in that building and eat up there and all that and do those things also connected me to it. So it was when I saw it happen, at it was at the same time, it was very emotional. The whole world was. The United States was in awe. But anyway... So what's really cool about this is, uh, you know, and thank you again. I know it's years past, but everyone in New York that helped save all those people and do everything you guys went through and stuff. I hope you're okay, and I appreciate everything, and God bless America. That's kind of what I want to say about that. So it, it goes on the story of him in the suit, you know, and it's, it's he's fighting Mysterio, Mysterio like, is full, he remember something bad happens? He's he's fighting with Spider Man and um, he like, remembers or he escapes. Actually, he doesn't escape, he starts remembering what happened. And they go over a plan about like robbing a bank. So Mysterio goes in there and he robs a bank and he uses his gas and he puts it on people. And, and I guess the the one of the girls. The light is so bright because I'm changing my camera. Color. This girl right here, she takes off her mask and I guess dies. So he's not a real bad guy, Mysterio, but he's upset because she died. So then it goes back to um, Spider-Man fighting some people. Dude, I just love the art in this. It's unreal, man. He's fighting... Um,
oh man, the human fly. And, uh, you know, Spider-Man's basically just whooping ass and he saves, the human fly was stealing his piece of art. You know, he saves him. Then it goes back to Mysterio and, uh, or no, then it goes to Spider-Man with, um, the black cat. And they go, he takes her, they're out of costume. He kind of shows her that the symbiote suit gets on him and off him. And he's saying, oh, it's not an alien, it's just alien technology, which is interesting. They go to the gravesite of Uncle Ben, and uh, when they're there, they see Mysterio. So Spider-Man trail, trails him, and then he's like, why did you, uh, <clears throat> why were you at that grave? Did you kill that girl? And he's like, he, Mysterio's like, hey, it was my sister, even though he was lying to get out of it. Um, and Spider he just enough to trick Spider-Man to freak him out so that he could get away. But when he gets away, uh, he sees the symbiote coming off of Spider-Man. And it suggests that uh, at the very end that he's going to try to go get the suit, which would be very interesting. But overall, it was an enjoyable read. It wasn't like super spectacular, but the art was great and it le it's going to lead into something even better um, I'm really excited for this whole symbiote series again it's like my favorite character um, you know I, I sat down with Jim Stewart at Comic Con years back because I got a lot of signings from him and he just loved to talk and there was nobody there it was crazy so we talked about it you know how when you would see like the black Spider-Man face here in the little UPC, they started doing that and about the contest, about the new character and the new suit and all that, Venom, etc. And uh, how he was saying that they were in a Marvel was in a really bad spot at that time to period of the comic book industry, um, basically like the death of Marvel. And Jim Shooter wanted to go another way, and a lot of people argued with him, and they implemented the black suit, and people were really frustrated. But once they started reading the story and somewhat. They absolutely flocked to this character. So it he was basically telling me it saved Marvel, the black suit Spider-Man. So, you know, to me, it's a super key. I try to pick up as many black suit first appearances and things like that if I can, if they're um, reasonable. And eventually, not, uh, you know, eventually that character comes to the MCU over dude those books are going to skyrocket but overall i really liked this book um i'm going to be getting the next one i want to do a review on it at least it's a simple review i would suggest reading but the art's great even the coloring is great this is a digital let's see the inker is jay leinstein um but yeah it's super awesome man i i love books when the interior is so clean and glossy like that it's really good and this I expect this to do real well um, so I hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you tonight don't miss it it's your one chance at getting some ex some exclusive really awesome low print books um, and I know you guys love that stuff so have a good one we'll see you next time